Hey guys. Um. Okay. Uh. Today. Um. I want to bring up the topic of uh. Some problems that come with hormones. Uh. Up until now, things on hormones and in my transition have uh, been really, really, really awesome. And, you know, I've been like bragging about it and stuff and, uh, you know, just um, very, very uh, confident, I guess, to a certain extent. Uh, but today, and yesterday I started to really suddenly realize some very, some unexpected results of my hormone replacement therapy. Um, and it's really putting me in an extremely difficult spot and I'm very confused. I don't know how to go on with this and I'm, so I, I want to make a video because, you know, maybe somebody else has gone through this or, you know, somebody, I don't know, I, I'd really like to know if any if anybody else has uh, gone through this uh, and how they get over it, but uh, my issue here is, uh, It, um, it has to do with, like I explained in one of my other videos, I, I made it clear that what's important, most important to me is career research and development as a biochemist. Uh, but, and I also mentioned that for the longest time, um, math and science and stuff like that has been basically my uh, strongest subjects, like something that just comes naturally to me and uh, I just pick up real fast. Uh, <laughs> but, but lately I just, and, and it actually shows in this, in this video itself, in the last few videos, I wouldn't normally talk like this. Um, but my mind has just been getting really foggy, and I <clears throat> I don't know what to do about it because it's causing very very serious problems. Um, like today, I had to drop one of my classes because um, I just couldn't. I, I, <clears throat> I just wasn't picking up stuff as fast as I uh, as I used to be able to pick things up. Um, Besides, it was there was they were so they were really hard classes, but nevertheless, um, but yeah, and it, one of the videos here on YouTube actually sparked this idea and got me wondering uh, <laughs> how uh, got me wondering about this. Uh, I came across a uh, YouTuber uh, uh, with the username uh, MinorQBack. Uh, her name's Jordan, I guess. Um, and uh, I was watching one of her videos, and, sh and she was talking about uh, situations where she's been called out in public and not knowing how to respond, but also mentioning how she. Um, at one time, you used to be able to deal with that stuff easily, um, but all of a sudden it just like would catch her off guard, and she wouldn't know what to say. And that and that really <clears throat> struck a bell with me, or a chord, uh, because that's basically how things have been for me too. Actually, um, I mean, I'm part of the university debate club, and I used to love debate for years and years and years. Debate. Is uh, was my life, um, but.
but suddenly, just like in the last like two, three weeks, I, in the last debate, I, I got up and uh, went to give my speech and like I couldn't come up with more than like a minute of argument when I had a, a, a seven minute time limit. I was supposed to use up those seven minutes. Um, and my argument just sucked. Like I just, I just wasn't thinking of, of things. And normally, and and I was on the rebuttal. Rebuttal is it's supposed to be easy, and especially for me, I usually my big thing was I, I could always like pinpoint things people did or said wrong, and uh, um, so I always jump, always loved jumping on that. But I, I just couldn't think of anything now. Um, and when you think about it, argument, when you're arguing with somebody, <laughs> you're in a dialogue of critical thinking. You're analyzing what that person is saying and you, you're drawing conclusions. Um, and that same, it's that exact same thought process that uh, is used in math and science. So it, it makes sense that um, an ability to argue um, is going to be closely correlated with math skills and skills in science. Um, and so it, it's getting to the point where uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually starting to get a little bit worried how I'm going to continue on this career in if my mindset stays this way I, I don't even know maybe it's not I hope it's not the hormones I seriously seriously hope so but it, it would sure seem that it is the hormones because it's something that's just kind of been picking up over time uh, and uh, da -da 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 um, and, but I mean, I don't know, like my mind is just, even right now, I mean, this, this video right here is probably the best example I can give of how my mind is just, you know, so disorganized. And like, I have stuff written on paper here, like, normally when I go into a debate, I would, I would write down ideas. And then I would um, put numbers numbers beside them for what order afterwards. I wanted to do everything because you like to have an organization. And even with that right in front of me, I, I'm just not staying on track with that. Uh, and and another thing, this is going to come across as very offensive. And I don't. It, this is just a question, not an implication or, uh, or, um, or a judgment. Uh, but um, I'm not. Okay, forget the question. If you are viewing this and you know somebody who's transgender, who's been transgender for many years and is in a. who is a very highly successful intellectual, you know, who's done something amazing and that's useful for the world, um, please tell me who this person is because I'm wondering if any transgender person has uh, been able to accomplish anything that big, perhaps because of the very hormones that we're getting, or who knows what it is. Because obviously there's a, a decent chunk of, actually there's a huge chunk of um, very intelligent women out there. So it has nothing to, I don't think it has too, too, I think there's probably somewhat to do with it. But I don't think it's totally, I don't think it totally has to do with hormones itself. There's got to be something else about the, the regimen. There are specific medications, or how they're administered, or, or something that would explain why these kind of problems would happen. 
Um, but uh, uh, and I guess oh right the other extremely important thing too and why this is an issue is because not only is my brain becoming foggy there's also been a small part of me that's almost started to not care that this career could fall apart um, which is when one side of me terrifies me but on the other part you know seems happy um, and I gotta point out that being on hormones has made me happy it's made me very content um, and that's what makes this so troubling is because there's so many benefits too and it's trying to balance those benefits um, it's almost like a question is um, is happiness worth ignorance um, and uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer that. I just don't know. Um, I, I seriously, truly, truly hope things get better from this point on. But as of recently, things have just been like crashing down and just stressing me out. And uh, it, it's uh, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's just like. You just don't know. You're confused, and uh, and it's very tough dealing with that confusion when I have so much schoolwork to do. Um. So, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for now, I guess. There's actually probably more. I'm just probably not thinking thinking of it, but uh, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think or whatever. Um, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later.